Colorado Cannabis and Marijuana License Medical cannabis has been legal in Colorado since 2000. About 54% of voters were for cannabis medical use. Buying recreational cannabis in Colorado Recreational cannabis is legal in Colorado. However, there are cities having more strict laws. In general, residents and tourists have the right to buy cannabis. But the amount shouldn't exit one ounce of marijuana. Age also matters. Anyone under the age of 21 can't use recreational cannabis. You can buy cannabis only from legal dispensaries. There will be no much time needed to search for dispensaries. As there are more than 500 legal sellers. In the shops, there is a much variety of cannabis products. For example, there you can find flowers, gummy and even tea. Besides, licensed bud tenders guiding you. Before entering marijuana shops, make sure you have the legal documents with you. This is a must to verify your identity. For instance, you can show your Colorado driver's license. You can also show licenses from other states. You can mail or move cannabis between the state borders. Because there are still states with banned cannabis use. There are also restrictions on cannabis recreational use. Restrictions in Cannabis Recreational Use As we mentioned prior the amount of marijuana shouldn't be more than one ounce also, you should be, at least, 21 years. But they are not the only restrictions. There are other restrictions too. Let's look through 10 major rules of recreational cannabis use in Colorado. You can't use cannabis in public places. Colorado keeps the laws of other members of the public. Thus, the state doesn't want other members to witness the process. Federal lands are also not the places to use marijuana. There's a reason why you can't use cannabis in federal lands. Marijuana is still illegal federally. You can't smoke marijuana if you drive. Smoking marijuana and driving are equal to drinking and driving. Colorado also banned smoking marijuana in hotel rooms. There may be also hotels completely banning cannabis use. In this case, you can't use marijuana in outdoor areas of the hotel. Firstly, ask the hotel staff about their laws. It will help you to avoid problems. You can't buy marijuana from unlicensed shops. It is against Colorado law. Buying more than 800 mg of cannabis edible is also illegal. It is only legal to have up to 8 grams of wax. You can grow cannabis plants. But you can't sell them. The plants are only for your use. Also, you can't have more than 12 plants. There is also a cannabis store operation time limit. It is sometimes based on city law. For example, all cannabis stores should be closed till midnight in Colorado. Meanwhile, the cannabis store can operate till 10 p.m. in Denver. Taking cannabis out of state borders is also illegal. Even if you are a tourist you can take it to your home state. You must get rid of cannabis before you go. Medical Marijuana License in Colorado Only Colorado residents can get medical marijuana licenses. Moreover, the resident should be at least 18 years. It is also a must to have a qualifying condition. Minors can also get a medical marijuana card. But both minors and parents should be Colorado residents. Minors should also have a qualifying condition. Now, the limit of daily use of medical marijuana is 40 grams per day. However, there are new limitations. The new law will apply only on January 1, 2022. 
since 2022 patients can buy only 8 grams of cannabis daily. But the amount relates only to patients over 21. It will become harder for residents between 18 to 20 years to get the license. Furthermore, even if they succeed the daily use limit will be 2 grams benefits of medical marijuana card. Do you hesitate if you need a medical marijuana card or not? It is completely okay to hesitate. Especially when the recreational use of cannabis is legal in Colorado. Here, you will find why having medical marijuana card is beneficial. Definitely, you need to get a medical cannabis card. Of course, if you are a patient. There are many medical marijuana license advantages. Particularly, there are five basic benefits of having a card. You can use more marijuana than recreational users. The cannabis taxes will be lower with the card. You will get the best quality marijuana. Medical marijuana has a stronger effect. You may grow plants giving marijuana more than one ounce. Additionally, you will receive much support in your preceding care. It will be on the side of medical marijuana legality. Getting Medical Marijuana License in Colorado Department of Public Health gives medical marijuana licenses. Recently, 89,564 patients have medical cannabis licenses. In addition, 1,942 caregivers have marijuana cards. Now, let's discuss the application process step by step. First of all, you need to be eligible for a medical marijuana card. You should be a Colorado resident. Your age should be 18 years or older. You should have a qualifying condition. Secondly, you should check your condition eligibility. There are 10 qualifying conditions. Seizures. Cancer. Post-traumatic stress disorder. Muscle spasms. The spasm should be persistent. Severe nausea. HIV or AIDS. Autism spectrum disorder. The pain should be severe. Cachexia. Glaucoma. Besides, doctors have the right to allow cannabis use. It can be possible even if your condition is not eligible. But the doctor should have valid reasons. It should serve for the patient's sake. Applying for medical marijuana card There are two methods to apply for a medical marijuana card. You can apply online or by mail. Anyway, it is better to use the online method. The online application process is faster. Typically, the committee approves online applications from 1 to 3 days. Meanwhile, getting approval will take from 3 to 6 weeks by mail. Moreover, the mail applicants will not have an online account. The patients will receive the cards by mail. How to apply online You can apply online if you have an account. Then you will follow the instructions. You should create an account. You should also submit a doctor's certificate. Your marijuana grower information should also be there. There will be three payment methods to choose from. You can use an electronic check. It is also possible to pay via credit or debit cards. The application fee is $25. It is non-refundable. You will need to pay each time you submit the application. You can also use a fee waiver. But you need to be eligible for it. Your household income should be 185% of the federal poverty level. The income can be less than 185% too. Note, you can't use a fee waiver for cannabis card renewal. Cannabis Medical Card Renewal you should renew your cannabis medical card each year. The renewal application should be submitted 30 days prior to the expiration. The process of renewing is similar to the application process. Getting a doctor's recommendation is also a must. 
Also, you can use your online account used to get a card. You log into your existing account. After, choose the card renewal and pay. The medical marijuana card annual fee is $25. Getting marijuana grower license in Colorado. According to medical and recreational use. There are three classes of medical marijuana grower licenses. They are classified according to the number of plants. The first class allows for the growth of 1 to 500 plants. From 500 to 1500 plants are the second class. The third class permits 1500 to 300 plants. You will pay $800 if the number of plants exits 3000. But the application fee is $300. The license fee depends on the license class. The fee will be from $1,500 to $3,500. Meanwhile, cannabis growers for recreational use are classified according to tiers. There are five tiers. The tiers are also based on the number of plants. The application fee is $300. The license fee will range from $1,500 to $6,500. It is also based on the tire. The license renewal is annual. Getting Marijuana Dispensary License in Colorado There are two types of marijuana dispensaries. The first one is a retail dispensary. The fee for the application is $4,500. In addition, you will pay $2,500. You should pay it at the time of application. The license renewal takes place annually. The renewal fee is $1,800. The second one is a medical dispensary. The medical dispensary should only provide marijuana for patients. The cost depends on the number of patients. Thus, the fee also depends on the number of patients. There are three fees according to the number of patients. You pay $9,000 if you provide cannabis for 300 patents or less. The fee is $16,000 if the patients are 300-500. You pay $22,000 for more patients exiting 500. There are some requirements to operate as a dispensary. You must have a clear criminal record. Your financial background is also important. You should have a dispensary operation plan. All the staff of the dispensary should be Colorado residents. Moreover, the owner should be a Colorado resident, at least, two years.